Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Big Brother Wee, and Happy New Year to everybody. This is going to be a New Year's video, and uh, this is actually a video uh, that I want to consider, want to discuss, and it's actually credited to a person that goes by the name of Fatal Death SG45, and the topic that we're going to be talking about today involves, you know, M-rated or mature-rated first-person shooters. And the question is, is it basically a trend or is it a requirement? Now, given our circumstances that with each new technology and each new game that does come out, that's part of the first-person genre, we're always noticing that the game tends to gear towards more of an M-rated title altogether. And it seems to me like, is there such a thing as, find, is, is there such a means of finding some kind of ground where you can actually make first person shooters rated T for teen or even E for everybody or even E10 but it seems to me that um, <coughs> you see a lot more M rated games within the first person shooting genre <coughs> now if possible is it possible that you can produce a high quality high selling first person shooter that's not M-rated. To be honest with you, the last time we'd seen something like that was GoldenEye 007. And that was a critically acclaimed, well-received title. And it wasn't M-rated. But what other games that you can think of on the top of your head that is M-rated? I mean, that's not M-rated, but is a first-person shooter and has high-quality excellence. In gameplay but before I stop this video I like to give my personal take on it as to why do I feel that it's a trend that it could be a trend or what is it a trend or a requirement well first and foremost um, video games in general are open-ended so you're it, it's only limited to whatever you, what your creativity is so there really isn't any rule set for whatever you want to create when it comes to video games except if you're doing it with any particular genre and their standards upon meeting. Now, as to whether or not if the game is a uh, now is it possible that you can create a, t a game that's rated T for teen and still delivers high quality excellent gaming that's a first person shooter. Well certainly, I mean video games in general um, again, or create, or based strictly, or basically limited to your creativity and to your imagination. <laughs> so it's easy to produce that, but more so, I believe that in some cases you could say that it could be a requirement in a sense that if you really want to get the most um, bits, if you really want to get the most uh, financial means and also the, the best sense of realism, you might want to include um, material. You might want to include things like animated blood or severed bodies, war, violence, etc. Um, we could actually look at that as pretty much part of the requirement scheme because it also is it's also a really good way to show what, what a system can really do <coughs> when it comes to uh, graphics and animation. So whenever you see games like Doom 60, like the Doom series, or we're talking about Halo, or we're talking about Area 50. Uh, Area 51, or we are talking about, um, gee, what's the name of that Russian first person shooter game that's done by a, uh, it's actually based off of a book, and it's actually built from, uh, from a Ukrainian company. Okay, never mind. Anyway, the whole point is that, you know, in, in some cases you could say it's a trend, and it's also a requirement. On one hand, you can look at the uh, M-rated uh, shooter games as a way of saying that this is how this is how realistic my game can be, and this is how much animation this game can really deliver. And it's not really a bad trend per se, but you could say that it could be saturated in a sense that pretty soon, if there is a game that's a first-person shooter that does come out and it's not rated enough mature there's a good chance that it will not receive the same kind of reception among the masses and audience especially when you're competing up against big comp big games 
like say the uh, Half-Life games or even the Doom games or anything that's created through ID Software or any other uh, developer that's a first-person shooter per se. And <coughs> there's really nothing wrong with that per se, but I would definitely say that if you're basically playing these same kind of games over and over again, it seems to me that what you're going to be doing ultimately is that you're playing the same kind of game over and over again, just with different gloss of uh, backdrop and animation and maybe some tweaks in the gameplay or what have you. Anyway, sound off on your personal opinion. M rated games, trend or requirement or other, your take. This is Big Brother Wee saying, let the games begin.